BigQuery is a fully managed cloud data warehouse that provides incredibly fast SQL analytics over large data sets. You can write and run queries directly in the BigQuery web UI. In this video, you will learn how to use the BigQuery UI to run a query. You will query the USA Name Data public dataset to determine the most common names in the US between 1910 and 2013. This same process can be used to query other public datasets available through the program, your own datasets, or any other dataset to which you have the right permissions. Get started by navigating to the BigQuery UI at console.cloud.google.com slash BigQuery. If you are new to BigQuery, use the video linked in the description below to set up a new project in the BigQuery sandbox. No credit card is required. If you are already a BigQuery or Google Cloud Platform user, you may select an existing project. You will then land in the Query Editor, where you can write and run SQL queries directly. If the Query Editor is not currently displayed, click Compose New Query at the top right of the window to summon the editor. Before writing a query, you'll start by navigating to the USA Names public dataset. In the Resources section of the left-hand nav, click Add Data and pin a project. Type BigQuery public data separated by dashes and click Pen. This project contains several public datasets. Expand the project and scroll down and expand the USA Names dataset. Click on the 1910 to current table where you can review the table schema. The schema outlines the structure of the table and provides a list of the columns available to query. Here you can also view the table details and preview the data. Click Query Table and a preloaded query statement will appear in the query editor, which you can begin editing directly. For this quick start, instead of editing the query, copy and paste the query text provided in the video description below into the query editor, and then click the green check mark on the right-hand side of the window to view the query validator. A green check mark icon is displayed if the query is valid. If the query is invalid, a red exclamation point icon is displayed. The validator also shows the amount of data the query will process when you run it. Now click Run. The Query Results page displays below the query window. At the top of the Query Results page, the time elapsed and the data processed by the query are displayed. Below, you'll see a table displaying the query results with a header row containing the name of each column you selected in the query. You may now choose to save the query to be accessed and run at a later time. You may also save the query results in one of several formats for further analysis, or follow the direct link to explore the results in Data Studio. Happy analyzing!